They used to say the brain was a mystery, and it still is, but that mystery just got a little less mysterious. Thanks to researchers at UC San Diego, we now know the brain doesn't follow one simple rule book when it comes to learning. It follows multiple, and sometimes at the exact same time. That's right, your neurons are multitaskers, overachievers, little drama queens running parallel algorithms like it's the Olympics of cognition. For decades, scientists believed that when you learn something new, like a song, a dance, or how to fold a fitted sheet without cursing, your brain strengthens certain synapses and weakens others. That's called synaptic plasticity, and it's been the big celebrity in neuroscience for a while now. But here's the twist. Until now, we thought all synapses played by the same rules. Turns out, they don't. Your brain doesn't run one operating system. It runs a bunch, in different zones, at the same time. Let's break that down. Imagine trying to train an ant colony to build IKEA furniture. Each ant only knows their tiny job. None of them knows what the final chair looks like. That's kind of how your brain learns. Tiny pieces, local instructions, but somehow, you end up with a memory, a skill, or a weirdly vivid dream about high school algebra. This challenge is called the credit assignment problem. How do individual synapses know they're contributing to a bigger behavior? Well, UCSD scientists just cracked a huge piece of that puzzle using high-powered imaging in real time, watching mice learn as their neurons lit up in different ways, in different places, simultaneously. It's like discovering your brain's been running Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, all on the same machine. And suddenly, we're not just closer to understanding mental health disorders like PTSD or Alzheimer's, we're also rewriting the architecture of AI. Because artificial neural networks? Yeah, they still operate under that old assumption. One rule fits all. And now, we know better. So, what does this mean beyond lab mice and laser microscopes? Well, everything. Because if your brain isn't just using one learning rule, but a whole cocktail of them, that completely changes how we think about behavior, emotion, and even the tech trying to mimic us. Let's start with artificial intelligence. Right now, most AI models, including the ones writing your emails, driving your car, and low-key judging your Spotify playlist, are built on one basic framework. One way to learn one rule to follow. But the human brain? It's playing chess, poker, and Tetris all at once. Synapses in different parts of a single neuron are using different learning strategies at the same time. Some get stronger, some get quieter. Some are probably scrolling memes while the others do all the work. And yet, it works. That insight doesn't just make our understanding of AI look basic. It opens the door for designing machines that learn more like humans. Machines that can adapt, prioritize, and improvise, not just optimize. This isn't just next-gen tech, it's next-gen thinking. Now, flip it to mental health. Because if neurons can follow multiple rules, guess what? Sometimes they don't, or they follow the wrong ones at the wrong time. That's how we get behaviors that seem irrational, emotions that don't line up with reality, and patterns we can't explain. Disorders like PTSD, addiction, and even autism may all have roots in this system going out of sync. Too much plasticity in one place, not enough in another. Understanding this could change everything from diagnosis to treatment to prevention. And what about free will? If your brain's behavior is being shaped by multiple simultaneous learning systems, each reacting to different inputs at different speeds, who exactly is in control? It's not a flaw. It's a feature. The beauty of consciousness might be in that chaos. 
that your thoughts aren't dictated by one rule, but a thousand whispers in parallel, slowly shaping who you are. In other words, your brain's not running a script, it's improvising, constantly. And honestly, that makes you more miraculous than any machine on the market. Now that we know the brain uses multiple rules at once, the next question is, can we hack it? Can we retrain faulty circuits in PTSD, addiction, or Alzheimer's by understanding which rule is misfiring and where? That's what makes this discovery so powerful. It doesn't just help us understand how we learn, it shows us where things break and maybe how to fix them. Not with guesswork, but with precision, targeted therapy, smarter treatments, real rewiring. Now imagine that same principle applied to artificial intelligence. Not one supermodel that does everything, but many smaller minds, each with their own specialty, working together like the regions of a brain. One AI for reasoning, another for search, one tuned for memory, another for vision, like signing up for a single streaming service and gaining access to dozens of channels seamlessly bundled behind one interface. You don't see the complexity, but it's there. Organizing, responding, adapting, just like your brain does every second. We used to think we needed one massive AI to reach human-like intelligence. But maybe, just like us, the real leap forward isn't one mind doing everything. It's many minds doing their part. And when they're connected just right, the system doesn't just work. It becomes something else entirely. Something that thinks. Something that learns. Something that reflects the most advanced intelligence we've ever known. Our own.